Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope everybody's doing good today. So, once again, we got to talk about this situation with Beyonce and her half brother, Little Nixon. And the mother, Alessandria, right? So if you guys do not know, once again, Alessandra is taking to the news media to blast Beyonce. So you guys know I've been covering this case since literally 2010 when it first broke that um, Matthew knows had a love child out here. I've done videos on her and also the second child that he also had because um, he was sued for child support for, for Takoya Branscombe's child as well, which ended up being a daughter named Koi Knowles. So right now, this is what's going on. Alessandra recently did an interview with The Sun magazine in the UK, and this is what they're stating. So they're saying while his big sister is buzzing around the globe on her Renaissance world tour, Beyonce's 13-year-old half-brother who has spent his formative years living in a trailer with his mom, Alessandra Wright, questions, why don't you love me? The singer won't show him any affection, claimed the teen's mother. He asks, why doesn't that person love me? Nixon has never had the luxury of being a normal child, Wright says. Being related to somebody famous smothers kids like him, and they lose their identity. I sit in the bathroom and cry sometimes because I don't know how to help him be his own person. Representatives for Beyonce did not immediately respond to the post's request for comment. Wright, who was a former public relations representative for Microsoft when she met Knowles in Seattle, Washington, back in 2007, he said, I'm going to stay in Seattle until you agree to have a drink with me. He stayed for two or three weeks until I finally said fine. Soon after becoming acquainted, the pair embarked on an affair amid Matthew Knowles' 31-year marriage to Tina Knowles. Throughout their nearly two-year relationship, Alessandra said she didn't feel guilty for sleeping with a married man. She says, I was not conflicted about the situation because his marriage was not a functioning marriage. I don't think he told his family about me. She admitted that she took Nose's persistent advance for true love. It was a complex situation and the family structure had been fractured for a long time. Alexander became pregnant with Nixon in May of 2009. He was born in February of 2010. In March of 2010, the DNA test proved that Matthew Knowles was in fact the boy's father. She said she ended the relationship with Knowles just before the music mogul who masterminded Destiny's Child was fired by Beyonce in early 2011. Wright claimed that the father-daughter duo's professional parting of ways occurred after a financial audit that prompted accusations of misappropriated funds. We had joint credit cards and bank accounts, and after the audit started, he just cut me off. I left him, and he didn't expect me to make that choice. It ended because I'm better than that. After a years-long $250,000 child support dispute left Alexandra bankrupt and without a roof over her head, she had to have help from a homeless charity, and she eventually was able to reside in a two-bedroom mobile trailer. Matthew Knowles and Tina Knowles eventually divorced in 2011. But now what was so interesting is while Matthew was going through all of this with Alexandria, um, his second baby mama, who had his second side baby, her name was Takoya Branscombe. And like I said, she is the mother of Koi. And Koi, I believe, is about 12 right now. Beautiful little girl. She's acting and trying to get into modeling. But Matthew Knowles does not acknowledge either one of these children. Beyonce doesn't acknowledge them either. And my thing is, Beyonce does not owe these children anything. It's always interesting that whenever these mothers come out and talk, it's always Beyonce doesn't acknowledge my child. Beyonce doesn't acknowledge the siblings. But last time I checked, Matthew Knowles has not one but two daughters. How come they never bring up Solange? How come they never say, well, Solange doesn't acknowledge her half-brother? It's always Beyonce. 
And I feel like they do that every time. You know, every few years when she's popping and she's on tour, one of them comes out and they have a sob story about how, you know, Beyonce is not paying their child any attention. My thing is when y'all were making these children with Matthew, Beyonce wasn't in the room. Y'all weren't worried about Beyonce, how this would affect her emotionally, how this would affect, you know, the relationship between her mother and father who were married at the time. Neither woman cared, but now somehow they feel like Beyonce owes their children something. Beyonce doesn't owe either one of these children anything. If she chooses to step up and be a big sister to them, great. But if she chooses not to, she has that right. Her loyalty is to her mother. Her loyalty is not to her father and his side chicks. The audacity of her coming out every few years to blast Beyonce at this point is just comical. You know, and it's sad because neither one of these children deserve that. Both children are just simply adorable. Nixon is so handsome. He looks like a cross between Matthew and Alexandra. Um, Koi is gorgeous. You know, and it's sad that both of these children are being affected by their father's decision. You know, I don't understand why they're not more upset at Matthew Knowles not playing proper child support, not spending time with these kids. You've never heard Matthew Knowles ever acknowledge either one of these children. But for some reason, they always have smoke for Beyonce, but not the man who knocked them up and left them. You know, it just doesn't make sense to me. I've been covering this affair and this drama for the past 10 years, so I'm not shocked that, you know, every few years she comes out with the same song and dance. And the fact that the son is, like, literally trying to play these games in the article where they're comparing Nixon's life to Blue Ivy's life, I think is just such an insult. Like, there were parts of the article where they're saying, oh, Blue Ivy got a $50,000 Barbie doll for her first birthday, and, um, you know, she has a playroom that cost $80,000 with the jumbo TV screen. But poor Nixon, the only thing he owns is a $250 um, Nintendo Switch. It's like, why are you comparing Nixon and Blue Ivy? They have two different situations, two different sets of parents. And Nixon, un unfortunately, he's not going to be able to enjoy the fruits of his sister's labor because of how he was conceived. So to compare his lifestyle to Blue Ivy is a slap in the face. I just think the son is being very messy with this story. Even the fact that they're pointing out that, you know, Beyonce has one of the most expensive homes in California. It costs her $200 million. Meanwhile, you know, her half-brother lives 10 miles away in a trailer park. They're definitely trying to sensationalize this and make Beyonce look bad. But the only person who looks bad in this situation is, one, the adulterous woman who chose to to procreate and get pregnant by a married man. And also Matthew knows the man who didn't have respect for his marriage, who didn't have respect for his family legacy, you know, so he put his family in this situation. He put Alexandra with her help in this situation. So again, for the life of me, I don't understand how this always falls on Beyonce's lap to clean up Matthew Knowles' mess. Matthew is a grown man. If he chooses not to step up and be a father, that is on Matthew. It just shows the type of dusty father he is. You know, he was willing to put in the work with Beyonce and Solange because he knew there was a check to be had. But with these last two children, he's kind of washed his hands of them. But unfortunately, this is what happens more times than not when you decide to be a side chick. You know, most side chick situations end up like this because unfortunately, the man will treat the child with contempt. So this is why women need to think twice before bringing children into the world in a situation where you're the side chick. Because a lot of the times, those children who are the results of the affair, they end up suffering. Even if they're getting, you know, a monthly check and child support, they still end up suffering emotionally because that bond is not there with that child. And no child deserves that. So Alessandra, right, needs to take up her issues with Matthew Knowles and once again leave Beyonce out of it. So with that being said, I leave the question up to you guys. How do you guys feel about Alexandra Wright once again coming out and doing this interview with The Sun and basically blasting Beyonce for not, you know, acknowledging her half-brother and not spending time with him? I just think that once again, she's looking for attention. But I look forward to reading y'all's comments down below. Thank you once again for tuning in, and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. 
If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so tell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.